For the first time in about two decades, nearly all of the Great Lakes are completely covered over in ice. Doesn't happen all the time because we are seeing really what is considered to be more of a classic winter this winter with cold conditions. Uh, same can be said here in Barrie as we look at the waterfront here with lots of ice in place on Lake Simcoe. We're going to continue to see a trend toward something a little bit more seasonal. We just have this little trough that's coming through, bringing us some cloud cover and a little bit of flurry activity. Now, late, no, actually early part of next week, we will see another storm system coming in that will bring us more accumulating snow, maybe 5 to 10 centimeters Monday and into Tuesday. So we're definitely going to have to be watching, uh, it's not this one, but next system uh, coming through because that could obviously cause some problems with travel and trying to get around. So that would be uh, this storm system right here. So looking at Tuesday, Wednesday could be a little bit of a snowy problem, but then we start to warm things up considerably it looks like as we head through the late part of next week. Top 5 video time now, weather facts in British Columbia. Have a look. Right now, we do have some scattered flurries in the forecast, uh, possibly lasting through the afternoon. It's just a weak trough that's moving across the Great Lakes region. And falling temperatures, yes, we have enjoyed uh, what has been more seasonal uh, yesterday, and we'll do the same today. However, the temperatures will drop off a little bit for the weekend ahead. And then there is some indication that by the late part of next week, we could be you know, seeing the temperatures going up quite significantly. So let's take a look at our short-term forecast. How will you need to dress? This isn't going to contribute all that much to the snow on the ground because as we take a look here and still have significant snow in excess of 30 centimeters of snow on the ground up toward Collingwood and Barrie and points north up toward northeastern Ontario. But largely this trough coming through right now is not bringing much more than a couple of centimeters of snow. Now talking about the wind chills, yeah, you're going to have to dress for conditions that feel like about the minus seven one, but uh, it's not overall that, that cold. Now if the cold and the snow and this classic winter is just not your style and you want to head indoors and you love cars that I think it was 20 feet deep uh, so you know for those of you who love cars you don't like to hear those types of stories so we're looking actually at some uh, pretty decent weather around the GTA for the next uh, couple of days now in terms of temperatures though yes it does fall a little bit you're know, gonna have wind chills in the minus teens we can handle that then we really pull out of it quite significantly heading into Thursday and Friday of next week there is some indication and the National Weather Service is hinting at this on the U.S. side of the border, that they're going to be looking at 10 degrees. I think it's Detroit that's going with 10 degrees by the mid part of next week. So we can be possibly seeing a nice warming trend underway. Hamilton, yeah, expect a few flurries to end the weekend and then brighter skies by Monday. The biggest yet coming up, how the U.S. Northeast is dealing with what could end up being the biggest storm this season.